no salvage means at the end there is no nothing to be deducted instead of deducting you have to divide your cash flow minus depreciation minus taxation add back depreciation you will get your return hello everyone this is your adarsh sir here lecturing with yashram fasilit college the temple of excellence concept meaning and problems will be agenda for the day your problem sir a project will cost you 10 lakh what is the cost of the project 10 lakh and will have a life of 5 years and no salvage value no salvage means at the end there is no nothing to be deducted now assume tax rate is 50% depreciation under reducing balance method every year the depreciation value will be reduced so we cannot do that that 10 lakh divided by 5 years that is a original cost method if the reducing balance method means 10 lakh minus 20% 10 lakh into 20 2 lakh 10 lakh minus 2 lakh how much 8 lakh on 8 lakh 20% 1 lakh 60 i'll show you the calculation now the estimated cash in flow before depreciation and tax from the proposed investment are as follows now here cash flow before depreciation and tax see we have all the calculation like your cash flow minus depreciation minus taxation add back depreciation you will get your return so like this we have to do calculation i'll show you that now 3 lakh 20000 3 lakh 50 3 lakh 90 5 lakh and at the end we have 5 lakh 40000 now evaluate the project according to npv arr accounting rate of return payback period and profitability index arr will come later in the next session but we'll go with npv payback period and pi profitability index payback period and your net present value these three will find out in today's session now what is the percentage 10% all the calculation is or not is on 10% now in the present problem the net cash flow is not given therefore first calculate the cash in flow as i told you i'll go back to the note i have given see cash flow minus depreciation minus tax plus depreciation then you will get actual cash flow year 1 2 3 4 5 these are the inflow given in the question itself i'll show you again all this already given so then depreciation you are supposed to calculate how to calculate now your value is 10 lakh calculate 20% it will be 2 lakh second year 10 lakh minus 2 lakh it will be 8 lakh on 8 lakh calculate 20% it will be 1 lakh 60000 What about third year? It is the first, second, and third. Take eight lakh minus your last year depreciation. You will get six lakh forty thousand into twenty percent. It will be one lakh twenty. Sorry, yeah, one lakh twenty-eight thousand. Next year again. Take eight lakh minus one lakh twenty-eight. After that, you calculate. Similarly, your depreciation in this first year two lakh, second year one lakh sixty, third one twenty-eight, one or two four lakh nine. What is four lakh nine thousand? First year, second year, third year, fourth year is done. At the end of fifth year, your machinery you use it for five years. I'll show you the calculation. Wait. Your third year is done. What about fourth year? We'll go for fourth year. Six lakh forty you have. 
minus 1,28,000, you will get 5,12,000 into 20%, you will get around 1,2,400. This is for year 4. Year 4 answer is 1,2,000. What about year 5? I'll go for that. Year 5. Year 5. So we'll go with your 5,12,000 minus 1,2,400. You will get 4,200. 9,600. We will not calculate depreciation for the fifth year. Why? Because at the end of fifth year, your machinery life is over. Whatever left out for the fifth year, that is only your depreciation. Hope you are clear. Whatever left out for fifth year, that is only your depreciation. 4,9600. Hope you are clear. Yes. From the total, minus this, after minusing, you got all this. Then, minus taxation at 50%, 1,20,000 into 50%, 1,90,000 into 50, everything into 50%. Hope you are clear. Done. After deducting 50%, profit after tax, you got 1,20,000 minus 60, 60. 1,90,000 minus 95, 95. From this, you minus this, you will get this one. I'll show you. From this, you have to minus, you will get this answer. What about the last one? Whatever you have deducted here, depreciation, add back. 2 lakh deducted, add. 1 lakh 60 deducted, add. Why we are adding back? Why? Because for tax purpose, we deducted. Tax is over, then we have to add it back. Now, you got 2 lakh 160, 128, 102, 409, 9000. So, for this, 60 plus 2 lakh, 2 lakh 60. 95 plus 160, 255. So, it will be plus and it will be is equal to you got your net cash flow sometimes if it is five mark question this net cash flow they will only give you if it is not given you are supposed to find out hope you are clear yes that is done if that is done what is the next procedure Net present value, you are supposed to find out. Write all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the discount factor? It is given in the question. What is the answer? See, 2,60, 2 2,59. This is your answer. Write down. These are your answer. Multiply this into this, into, into. Multiply. If you multiply, you will get... 2,36, 221, 210, 194, 205, 294, 11,42. After adding everything, you got 11,42. What is your investment? 10,42 minus 10,42 is your net present value. Hope you are clear. Easiest one, easiest one, please work out. Now, you got here 11,4250 minus 10 lakh, you got your final answer. Now, once you're done with this, you have to find out profitability index. Now, I'll show you the logic. Whatever you have deducted, 11,42 minus 10 lakh, don't deduct, divide. 11,4250 divided by 10 lakh is your profitability index. Hope you are clear. Again, I'll repeat. Instead of deducting, you have to divide. 11,4250 divided by 10 lakh, you will get your answer. 11,4250 divided by 10 lakh, you got 1.142. Hope you are clear. Yes. 
Note the profitability index is more than one. Therefore, the project can be accepted. If you spend one rupee in return, you will get one rupee one forty two paise. So this is all about your today's session. As I told you, the ARR we have not done for this. Only we have done NPV profitability index. Only these two we calculated, and you already know that what is payback period. That's why we have not done for this. For the next problem, we go with payback period, NPV, ARR, profitability index. Everything will do it in one problem. Now I'll go back to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So there is your problem, your question continuation, your solution part one. Depreciation calculation I have done on the top. This is your solution NPV calculated, and these are your profitability index calculated. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is your capital budgeting. Thank you.